a pair of soldiers raid an enemy trench in the dead of night. But instead of finding enemy combatants, they find something much worse. Tonight's the night. Sergeant Muller said to himself as he was staring over the entrenchments across the field. Tonight he would embark on a daring raid across the battlefield from his own trenches to the enemies. It was not his first raid and by this point in the war he was a professional in the regard of wreaking havoc upon the enemy trenches, when the moon is full and night falls on the land. What was once a daunting task when he was a private was nothing to him now as a sergeant. Even the prospect of death did not scare him. His thoughts were broken when his good friend Corporal Webb approached him from behind, it's almost time, are you ready? He asked. Muller used the moonlight shining above them and checked his pocket watch and nodded. Of course. Muller then followed Webb towards the firing line of the trenches, and they spoke as they passed by soldiers getting on or getting off shifts of mending wire, digging more trenches, or simply going about their own business. Why do you think the bluecoats have been so quiet lately anyways? Today I stood straight up after coming out of my dugout and none of them dared even shoot me. Webber asked. Muller simply shook his head, hopefully they've lost their stomach for this war and went home. Any sane man would have at this point anyways. We've been fighting over this stretch of dirt for months now without the battle lines changing. Webb nodded, not us of course, we're perfectly sane aren't we? Muller chuckled slightly, as sane as we can be. As they continued to walk towards the firing line Muller thought about Webb's question. Surely we'll find out soon enough what's happening over there. He said to himself. Once they finally reached the firing line they hailed the sentry and they recognized him as Henderson from his broad mustache, another night on the job then? He asked earnestly as Webb and Muller passed him. There's nothing quite like it Henderson. Keep them all safe back here won't you? Muller said as he rubbed some dirt on his face. Will do. Henderson said in reply. With that, they then made their way across no man's land. The area between the Ticonderoga and Ulsterian trenches was a mess of shell holes, stumps, and dead carcasses scattered about the land. Every feature Muller and Webb knew like the back of their hands and they constantly used them for cover and concealment as they crawled across the field. No lantern was necessary for the moon was full that night and shined like a candle upon them and lit their way. They then came upon the outskirts of the Ulsterian lines when Webb reached to Muller and whispered. Blue coat straight ahead. Muller then looked over and saw a sentry at his post leaning against his rifle. He's asleep. Muller said. His head is facing the dirt anyways. Webb then took a more stern look and drew his dagger from his scabbard and whispered, it's best not to take the chance. They then crawled to an empty section of the trench and Muller cut the wire and they crawled into the ditch. Their boots made a splash in what they assumed was a mud puddle and they made their way along the firing line until they spotted the sentry. Webb then made quick work of him and carefully stretched his hand over the sentry's mouth and drove his dagger deep into the man's back. The blow would have been fatal if he was still alive. When Webb threw him into the mud he realized he was dead and his throat slit. Muller then gave a confused look, what the hell is this, 